Uh, Jennifer, what do you have planned? What we're planning on doing today is a uh, one breath inhalation induction. So what we're going to do is have the patient take a large, large breath in, take a large breath out completely, and then we're going to have them take a vital capacity breath back in. Uh huh. And sounds like every hold it and breathe normal after that. And you should fall asleep within about 60 seconds. Uh huh. And sir, we've had to prepare you for that breathing exercise. Yes. Okay, great. Jennifer, what have you done back here? Basically, we primed the circuit. We have high flow oxygen on, and we also have 28% sevoflurane on. You've chosen sevoflurane? Yes. Why is that? Basically, since it's a non pungent anesthetic, we can increase to high MAC values and cause a fast inhalation induction, unlike some of the other anesthetics. All right, looks like we're ready to start. All right, you ready? Okay. Take a breath in. Breathe it out completely and hold it. And hold it back. The mask on your face. Okay, take a big, slow, deep breath in. Now hold it for a couple seconds. And now exhale. And just regular respirations. Jennifer, it looks like he's beginning to get drowsy. Mm. So he's still breathing. Yeah, so even the 8% sevoflurane enabled him to continue breathing. His eyelids are getting mm. heavy now. Mm. Brian, can you open your eyes for me? And then he's losing his lid reflex. One breath inductions with sevoflurane are especially popular with the clinical anesthesia provider in the pediatric population. We often give Versed to the pediatric pa patients in the holding room, take them to the operating room, and then turn our sevo on 8% and let them breathe themselves down quickly. Uh, the older population, and we recently did an, a sevoflurane induction on one of our own faculty members, we do not tend to give the sevoflurane at the 8% level, rather a slower increase from 2 to 8%. And I agree with you, Betty. I, I do like sevoflurane inductions mm -hmm. in older patients. Uh, I think you have less hypotension under those circumstances than you do with intravenous inductions. But they tend not to tolerate the, uh, the higher percent uh, sevoflurane, and it tends to be more than one breath. It tends to be four or five breaths, I think. 